The Claisen rearrangement is a pericyclic reaction much like the Cope rearrangement. And so you may be interested in watching the video on the Cope rearrangement before proceeding further. This transformation is another pericyclic reaction because it too has a cyclic transition state in which all of the bond making and breaking happens concurrently. Specifically, the Claisen rearrangement is also a 3-3 sigmatropic reaction, meaning that three atoms separate the sites where the original sigma bond is broken and the new sigma bond is made. The presence of an oxygen atom in the core of the reactant differentiates the Claisen from the Cope rearrangement. Due to the presence of that oxygen atom, we can say that the reactant for a Claisen rearrangement is specifically an allyl vinyl ether. And after the transformation, a gamma delta unsaturated carbonyl is formed. As we turn our attention to the mechanism, we see that it is very directly comparable to that of the Cope mechanism. A pi bond attacks the carbon six atoms away, and this displaces the second pi bond, which in turn cleaves a sigma bond as it migrates, and that sigma bond is transformed into a new pi bond. Alternatively, you may sometimes see the arrow describing the initial attack of the red pi bond drawn into the space between the two carbon atoms that are about to be joined by the new sigma bond. And this is simply a slight variation on the mechanistic convention. The carbonyl containing product is typically favored at equilibrium. And this is due to the relative strengths, based on bond dissociation energies, of the bonds that are being broken and made during the course of the reaction. A stronger set of bonds is present in the product. A common example of the Claisen rearrangement is actually a minor variation on the reaction motif. In this specific example, the reactant contains an allyl phenyl ether, where a pi bond of the phenyl group will actually play the same role as the pi bond of the vinyl group did in the generic mechanism. It attacks the carbon that is six atoms away. A second pi bond is displaced to the adjacent bond, and that results in the cleavage of a sigma bond, which forms our final new pi bond. In this instance, the product of the reaction is a ketone, but this particular ketone rapidly tautomerizes to restore aromaticity to the ring, affording a phenol as the final reaction product. That tautomerization requires only a trace of acid or base, and on this slide an acid-catalyzed mechanism for the tautomerization is shown. The process begins with protonation of the ketone oxygen. Loss of a proton from the alpha center then restores aromaticity to the ring and pushes pi electrons onto the carbonyl oxygen to neutralize its charge. This is how the phenolic product is formed. Much like the cope, the Claisen rearrangement proceeds through a chair-like transition state, which can have stereochemical consequences. In this example, the allyl vinyl ether has two trans olefins. And we can draw that same reactant in a chair-like arrangement. And if we're careful to preserve the trans configurations of the two double bonds, we notice that the methyl groups can be placed in pseudo-equatorial positions. After the Claisen rearrangement takes place, we notice that the methyl groups still occupy pseudo-equatorial positions. 
However, they point to opposite sides of this chair-like conformation. And therefore, we have this stereochemistry of the product. An enantiomeric chair-like transition state would lead to the enantiomeric product as well. In this next example, the allyl vinyl ether contains one trans and one cis double bond. As a result, when we draw that reactant in a chair-like conformation, we notice that one methyl group can be placed in a pseudo-equatorial position, but the other methyl group must occupy a pseudo-axial position. After the pericyclic reaction takes place, the methyl groups still occupy one pseudo-equatorial and one pseudo-axial position. This time, they point to the same side of that chair-like conformation. And therefore, we have this stereochemistry of the product. Yet again, an enantiomeric chair-like transition state would lead to an enantiomeric product as well. A side-by-side -side comparison of the two previous examples illustrates the stereochemical ramifications of the chair-like transition state. What we notice is that different configurations of the reactant yield different stereochemical outcomes. In summary, the Claisen rearrangement is a 3-3 sigmatropic reaction of an allyl vinyl ether, or an electronically equivalent reactant. The product is a gamma-delta unsaturated carbonyl, and the reaction proceeds through a chair-like transition state which has stereochemical consequences. The preceding was an excerpt from the book Introductory Organic Reaction Mechanisms, a color-coded approach to arrow pushing. If you found this video to be helpful, you may be interested in the complete book, which is available in ebook format from Scribd, in paperback from Amazon, or in paperback at a discounted price from Lulu.